Topic Twelve: Phases of Matter, Part Three: Solids, Liquids, and Gases. In other words, we are looking at the differences between these three states of matter. If you have time, you can watch these videos on solids, liquids, and gases. Here, we're looking at the differences between the three states of matter: solids, liquids, and gases. And you can look at three main areas. Firstly, the motion of the molecules in each of these three states. For example. In solids, the molecules have vibrational motion only. There's no, there is no random motion. In liquids, there is vibrational as well as random motions. In gases, it's all random motions. Now you can look at ordering. Think in terms of fixed shape, fixed volume, loose shape, which one fills the container, and the shape of the container, and so on. And then look at the spacing. In other words, how far apart these molecules are from one another in solids, in liquids, in gases. Don't forget you can use your dictionary or your AES book. This table here summarizes the differences between boiling and evaporation. You learned this table last year as well in IT Physics. Difference between boiling and evaporation. For molecules to escape a liquid, they need to have a certain amount of energy. If you had a certain amount of energy to give to a certain amount of liquid, it will not be distributed equally. In other words, some molecules will have more energy more energy than others. All molecules have energy, no matter how cold they are. So molecules near the surface of the liquid may be able to escape if they have a greater share of the energy. This means it may happen at all temperatures. This happening is called evaporation. So evaporation occurs practically at all temperatures. If you raise the temperature, then the liquid may be able to make gas bubbles, which can hold back atmospheric and water pressure. This happens at only one temperature, and that temperature is called the boiling point. That's when the liquid starts to boil. Evaporation. This diagram here illustrates what evaporation is. Here we have a blue liquid inside a container, and you can see that these three molecules have enough energy to completely escape from the liquid into the atmosphere, whereas these ones here have barely enough energy to escape, and therefore some of them get pulled back into the liquid, whereas these ones here don't have enough energy to escape. So they just stay in the liquid. Melting. What is melting? Describe the process of melting. Just a brief, basic explanation from your dictionary. Internal energy. You can get a description of internal energy from your dictionary. In brief, it is the energy possessed by the. Molecules inside an object.